The following program is brought to you in compatible color, pioneered and developed by RCA. Your Chevrolet dealer who proudly presents the record-breaking 56 Chevrolet brings you twice each week from Hollywood... Dinah! The Dinah Shore Show. And here she is now, Miss Dinah Shore. At long last, the old TV, the 1952 RCA, uh, is uh, model uh, 17T151, is now out of the shed and uh, in the corner on the deck. And uh, we're going to do at least some things to it today. I'd like to get the chassis out. I get the back off, get the chassis out, and pull the tubes for testing. That's the goal for today. Now, I don't know if I'm going to make it or not. And for all of you folks who have offered to give me all the help that I need, I've got several people who have used to work on these old things. And they've all chimed in earlier and told me, John, don't worry about it. We got you back all the way. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. And, you know, my back's probably going to need a lot of support before this thing is over. <laughs> so I, I'm really looking forward to having a lot of fun with this. But I do have a couple other projects going on at the same time. So I kind of have to, you know, mix and match and kind of do a few things here and then a few things on the other project. And uh, hopefully I'll get them all done at the same time. If not, hey, that's the way it goes. Well, let's get the back off and see what it's going to take to get that chassis out. Removing this chassis really is not going to be that much of a problem. The picture tube in this particular TV remains in the cabinet. So I'll have to unplug this plug. I'll have to unplug the uh, plug from the back of the tube itself. There is a plug up in there that plugs into the speaker. This is really nice that it's all plugs. And I have another plug right there that will have to come off. Now it's possible, probably not probable, but it is possible that this picture tube is still holding a charge. And if it did, it would be a very small charge after all this time. However, you know, I'm not one to take any chances since this is my first television repair. So I have here a Heath kit high voltage probe that goes up to 40,000 volts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook the ground. Oh, I don't know. We'll just hook the ground right here. That's a good grounding spot right there. Just as good as any if I can get the thing to go on there. And then I'm going to take this probe and I'm going to slip it underneath there and uh, see if I can't discharge any residual voltage. There's a little rubber cap right there. I'm going to slide it up underneath the rubber cap between the tube and the rubber cap right up in that area right there and I'm going to discharge whatever is there so let me get that uh, pretty well set up and reestablish a, a little better ground here before I do that I realize that this thing here is loose now, this is the high voltage cage with the uh, horizontal output transformer and the output tube and I guess the other one uh, a couple of output tubes and the other one's a damper I don't know something like that <laughs> <laughs> I'll get into the schematic later. There's a, there's a big old horizontal output tube right there, I think. And uh, these are the two amplifiers, I guess, and maybe a damper. I don't know. I have the foggiest idea, but I will learn as we go along. Just wanted you to see that. Doesn't look too bad in there. Just a bunch of dust. All right, I, I decided to go ahead and just clip it to the high voltage cage. And now I'm going to take the old probe and slip it up. I've got the rubber cup pulled away just a little bit. And we'll go ahead and touch that metal. Let's see if I can give you a better picture here. There's a metal up under there. See that metal? And as you can see, there's no voltage there at all. No voltage there at all. Touch it again. There it is. Zero volts. It's totally discharged. Okay, we have a dead TV set as far as I'm concerned. You know, in, in preparing myself to tear this TV apart and, and uh, do a repair and restoration, I did an awful lot of reading. And, and I found out that in many, many cases, probably too many cases, uh, when people remove this plug from the tube, it always breaks. It falls apart. They break the pins. They break the wires. They do all sorts of things. You know, and I ask myself, why? Why is it always happening like that? And uh, 
I'm going to go ahead and help myself a little bit by putting a little bit of WD-40 down in there. And kind of help those pins get a little bit oily. I can always spray them clean at a later time. So let's let that soak for a little bit. All right, as expected, after a while, the old WD-40 did its job. And look at that. that. That baby just easy does it. Just slipped right off of there. Nothing to it. Now I'll take some contact cleaner later and give that thing a really good clean out as much as possible. Nothing to it. Take your time, guys. This isn't, now this is nice and tight all the way around. Nothing is loose. Okay, I've removed the plug from here. And, of course, the one from the back of the tube. And I have the plug from the speaker uh, is undone. And the connector with the rubber cap that went into the picture tube. Uh, it's hooked on with some tape. I'm going to have to cut through that tape. And then there's some screws on the bottom. And I came around. I began to pull knobs off. They all came off nice and easy, and had they not come off, I would have sprayed them with some WD-40. This one right here, which is next to the channel changer, this one has a keeper on it. A little sliding keeper like that. you got to kind of look at each one of these things. And uh, they all slid off pretty easy, just like that. So all the knobs are off now. Incidentally, this thing right here apparently is part of the uh, cabinet, this number thing here, not part of the chassis. The next step was to remove these uh, legs that were screwed into the four, the four corners on the bottom. They were just to screw up through the center and uh, screwed right into that right there. And, and that's where the, uh, you can see, that's where the, the felt uh, pad used to be that you know, was the leg and it, it kept the tables from being scratched and all. It's all gone now though. All right, all I have left now is this bolt two, three, and four. I think once I do that, the chassis will be loose. We shall see. All right, the four bolts have been removed from the bottom of the cabinet. Apparently the, uh, the, the, the four leg uh, screws didn't need to come out. They do not go into the chassis. I thought maybe they might have, but they had to come out anyway because the legs are bad. But the four bolts on the bottom of the chassis is what holds it in. Now this is my grandson. This is, uh, this for those of you who follow my videos, is Ethan's uh, older brother, Eddie. Say hi, Eddie. Hi. You see, you notice the whole family is a bunch of chatterboxes. Okay, Slide that out very slowly while I watch the rest of it and let's see if it in fact does come out watch 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 Make sure no wires are snagging go ahead looking good so far. Let me look up in the front there You see anything hanging anywhere? No, he's doing good. He's a pretty good TV repairman Rocky stop Rocky wants us to throw his ball. Oh, that's good. Just kind of pull it out and set it on the table a little bit further because I'm going to go ahead and uh Take the cabinet off of there. Okay, the chassis is out now. I could do two things here I could say I'll see you on the next video or I could turn it over and let everybody take a look And I know you're dying to see what's underneath there Chassis is completely out and I have it on my workbench. I'll be bringing it back out here in a few minutes and I have to put the back back on the TV to protect that the neck of this tube before I stick it out in the shed where it'll be safe. The cabinet with the pitch tube is safely in the shed with the back reinstalled. Now I intend to pull every one of these tubes, like 23 of these things I think, 22, 23, and I'll be testing them uh, beginning on Monday. First time I'll be able to get to them. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and take a, a look at the bottom together. My grandson just brought this out and set it there. I haven't even seen what's underneath there. It's just my, my luck will be burned up or empty. <laughs> Wouldn't that be terrible? Well, here goes. Here we go. Are you ready? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Wow. Holy mackerel. We've got a few capacitors under there. A few resistors. You know something? This thing looks like a piece of cake. 
Compatible color, pioneered and developed by RCA. 